All right, now I want to talk about a number of myths. You hear a lot of about building muscles and losing fat. If you have studied the subject or talked to other people and you have probably come across one of those myths, if not all of them. Problem is that with all the information out there on the internet and all the advices we get from friends and even from personal trainers that you don't know what to believe. This is why educating yourself is so important. You already need to know what you are doing in order to build a great physique and reach your goals. All right, so let us start with the first myth. It's really common among beginners to think that in order to build muscles and lose fat, you need to train at least five times per week, if not even more. Their logic goes as follows. The more you exercise, the more muscles you build. Now, why is that not true? The problem with this approach comes pretty obvious. When you know that your body does not build muscles while you exercise, but actually afterwards when it gets time to rest. We will cover the subject more truly later in the course. But for now, you need to know that if you do the same exact exercise every day, your muscles never get the necessary time to rest and regenerate. This applies especially to beginners during the first few weeks, depending on how intense your workout program is. You want to train around three to four times per week. Remember that overtraining your muscles doesn't only slow down their growth, but it can hold it all together. You get a similar effect if you believe and follow the second myth, which is that your workouts need to be really long, sometimes two or even three hours. Fortunately, that's definitely not true. As a beginner, I'd recommend to train anywhere from 30 minutes to 90 minutes. So let's say 45 minutes is a good range. Now, what happens if you train longer than that? The problem with this long workouts, let's say two or even three hours, is that you see rapidly diminishing returns for every minute you put into it. Not only will your blood sugar levels start getting very low, which means that your body does not have enough fuel to continue training, but also you will see a rise in your cortisol level, which is the stress hormone. Okay, and the third myth, Many people actually believe that you need to take an, an excessive amount of protein every day to build muscles. In most cases, they read somewhere in a magazine, maybe that in order to make sure they have enough protein in their system, they should drink two, three, or even four protein shakes a day. That's also not possible, guys. That's pretty much nonsense. Supplements are meant to enhance an already healthy diet. They are not supposed to substitute it. So if you are eating healthy and protein rich meals such as chicken, fish, beans, then there is really no need for a lot of extra protein through supplements. And as I told you always, I prefer to go for consistent meals, no shakes, because they're going to be metabolized and you consume more energy, more calories to metabolize it. Okay, now if you take this high amount of protein shakes, you know, two, three a days or however, you will be taking in more protein than your body can actually use. So what it will do, it will store extra fat, which is exactly what you do not want. A good rule of thumb when wanting to estimate your protein needs is consuming two gram of protein per kilogram body weight every day. That's all. Now, for the average beginner who is already consuming high protein foods, that means he or she does not need more than one, maybe one and a half protein shakes per day. That's all. And again, consistent food, it's the best. But before, nothing a protein shake is also well. Along with the belief that you need to take an excessive amount of protein, there is another very common myth which says that you have to eat your meals no more than three hours apart. Proponents of this myth argue that instead of eating a few big meals, you should eat smaller meals no more than three hours apart to keep your metabolism going and thus burn more calories at the end of the day. The problem with this argument is that research has shown 
over and over again that changes in body weight are not determined by how often you eat but how many calories you have consumed at the end of the day. They also found that small meals get broken down and processed a lot quicker than bigger meals. So your metabolism pretty much works the same amount of hours even you eat more smaller meals. Okay, wrapping this up, I hope I was able to show you that getting in shape and building muscle is not as difficult as many people make it out to be. The following parts of this program are designed to be as straightforward as possible. It will teach you everything you need to know and if you follow the step-by-step -step instructions, I promise you that you will become fitter, lose fat and build more muscles. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit the subscribe button before you go. If you have any questions, comment below, give me a like and just follow me to don't miss any of my videos on YouTube, Instagram and Facebook. To your success, your health and wealth mentor.